You know what? Put a one in the chat if you want my mom to respond to this super chat. Because since she wants to get on the live stream. Okay, let me drop the link. Hi, guys. So a few days ago, I turned Holman had a live and someone super chatted a comment uh, that read, American black women in general have no respect for black men. The lack of respect is more prevalent among American black women compared to any race of women in America. And on the chat, Aston's mom was like, oh, I want to come on the panel to defend black women. She's like, I want to come on and push back on, you know, uh, this very anti-black women comment. So Aston had her, you know, come on the um, the panel she had her camera on all right my mom wants to respond to this super chat so we're gonna hear from a 46 year old american black woman what she thinks about this shit about okay the chat is american black women in general have no respect for black men the lack of respect is more prevalent among American black women compared to any race of women in America. What do you think? And within a few minutes, it became very clear that she was not there to defend black women. Uh, defending black women was just a pretext. She was there to self-promote. She was basically there so that uh, Austin's audience can see how nice she looks. How, you know, she, she was walking around her, her home when she didn't have to. Just so that you know, the you know, the Austin's audience could see a full view of her, and which you know, for me that is something I support. I think uh, it, if women want to show off their body, they should be able to show off their body without being criticized, and I have absolutely no problem with that. And if she was trying to use her body to you know to get attention, I also support that. I have absolutely no problem with that, but. And like I said, it was very obvious she was there to show off her body. She, you know, she had her, her breast, breast is uh, very close to the camera. She was, you know, in the middle of the conversation. She was walking, you know, um, away from the camera. So I think so that people could get a, a full view of her body. So it was very obvious that she wanted to come on the panel to show off her body, to show off how nice she looks. Which, like I said, I support. There is nothing wrong with doing that. But the problem I have with it is uh, the pretext she used. She used the pretext of defending black women to come on camera, when in reality she just wanted to come on camera to show her nice body, her nice face, uh, to, you know, to other to the men. Which, like I said, is <laughs> something I support. And so, but the pretext is like, <sighs> I mean. Why don't you just tell your son, you know, I want to come on camera and so that, you know, your, your subscriber could see how good I look. She didn't need a pretext. And if she needed a pretext, I wish she had come up with other, another pretext instead of using the pretext of defending black women. Because black women are being attacked on YouTube. You know, YouTube, like half of YouTube right now is making, you know, uh, thousands of dollars attacking black women. So when someone, you know, uh, claims that they want to be on a, a, a panel to defend black women, you ec the ethical thing to do would be to defend, uh, to, you know, to defend black women. But that's not what she did. She was just there to, for self-promotion. She was just there to show off how nice her body looks. And it's not just, you know, the way she was showing off her body that, uh, that you know, was just self-promotion. Even uh, the things she was saying were not defending black women at all. She was basically saying that I am a better black woman. I'm not like the other black women. My, I keep my house clean, unlike the other black women. I so the women here, so they weren't raised how I was raised. Their bonnets and pajamas, and they're you know they they don't keep their cars clean. They don't keep their house clean. They don't keep themselves clean. When she when she said she you know she's clean cleaner than, you know, I guess the implication is cleaner than other black women. It disgusted me because I know what she is talking about because her son believes that um, bad BS balance is a result of bad hygiene. So she is, you know, I think she is trying to, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So she was, you know, there talking about 
about herself, not defending black women, basically saying that, you know, what you said about what you guys always say about American black women is true, but it's not true. It doesn't apply to me. That's basically what she was saying. And that's not defending black women. That is um, uh, perpetuating these anti-black women uh, propaganda that is being spread around, you know, around social media and around, you know, even traditional media. So she was there to self-promote. She was not there. She uh, she went up on the panel on, pro, uh, you know, pretext that she was going to defend black women. No, but that's not what she did. What she did was, you know, uh, self-promote, self-promote her body and self-promote her, you know, her virtue, like, you know, how clean she is, how, how she cleans and cooks, you know, and all kinds of things. Mm, and the other thing, you know, beyond, you know, the self-promotion thing, um, we uh, come to realize that she is colorist. Uh, she is probably as colorist as her son, if not more, because Almost every two minutes, she was um, mentioning how she is Creole French, you know, how her mother's side is, you know, not black, I guess, uh, French, uh, Creole. If they are black, you know, better, but she, you know, if they are, if she, they are to be considered black, in her eye, they are better black because they are lighter skin. Black women, because your mother is black, right? Uh, but I'm Creole French. So if that makes sense. You, I am black. I'm Creole. I'm from Louisiana. You know, my grandmother was French. I'm black. I'm Creole, but I'm. A so it was very obvious that she thinks, you know, lighter uh, skinned people are, you know, better black than, you know, uh, the darker ones. So it's not no surprise that her son is such a colorist, you know, to the point that where he was in Africa for six months. And he never had, you know, any interaction with uh, a dark-skinned uh, women that didn't that lasted more than, uh, you know, uh, twenty minutes. Uh, it's because, you know, his mom is colorist. She probably transferred that colorist uh, character to her son. Mm. So yeah, I mean, he grew up uh, watching his colorist mom. So no wonder he is colorist. So yeah, <laughs> then the other thing that kind of made me chuckle was she said she supported <laughs> Kevin Samuel. And I was like, what? <laughs> because this lady is just ridiculous because Kevin Samuel is was a misogynist, right? Kevin Samuel thinks women who look like her, who talk like her, uh, women who do not marry their, the children, the, father of their their children or who divorced those you know the father of their children are bad women they he calls it he he claims that you know the women like her are destroying the community so for her to like a man who considers her you know one of the worst things to exist is just really it shows you how ridiculous this woman is why are you appreciating a man who thinks you are you know uh, you know the lowest of the law it doesn't make sense. And of course, you know, a lot of people on Aston's comment were po pointing out that Aston's mom looks the same as, you know, the women Aston and his supporters condemn. Says she, this is the guy that asked the original question you said was fat. Um, your mom is a prime example of what's wrong with black women in America. What do you have to say to that? She dresses like them as, as the women Aston and his of uh, subscribers uh, and other passport bros called hosts. But, I mean, Aston's mom is almost like, you know, the um, textbook example of the modern women that Aston and his fellow uh, passport bros say are destroying America, say, are, say they are running away from. So it's kind of ironic that Aston brought his, his mom uh, but his mom, and to talk about, I guess, um, you know, the, you know, her virtue, when in reality, uh, she is like, like I said, the textbook example of a modern woman, you know, <laughs> but that is what happens because she is a patriarchal uh, princess. She is trying to impress this man. In reality, these men do look down on her. And another thing is, um, she was like, when she, answer questions like 90% of the time when she was on that panel and she was answering questions, 
she was going on tangent. I mean, like, oh God, they asked her what her son's favorite uh, favorite food was. She went on tangent. Yeah, what do you? What is my favorite meal? If you remember, um. Oh my God! You have it's as as far as soul food or breakfast or uh because tell them your mommy can cook so if Caesar's Austin's always been kind of upscale the way he eats because I I raised him that way um, he um, blackened tilapia he loves um, salmon he's always loved soul food if I cook soul food red beans and rice on Thanksgiving. I mean, he just, I cook a lot. So Austin is so diverse in what he eats. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know that my baby actually has a actual, you know, dish that he's like, Oh, I had this one. It's just mommy's in the kitchen cooking. He knows he's going to get down. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That was a hell of a way to answer the question. Because like I said, this lady was there to self promote. So of course, you know, every opportunity, every question she she's asked, instead of answering it directly, she's trying to use to find a way to self promote. So when they asked her, you know, what her son's favorite food was, instead of answering, you know, directly, she tried to use it to self promote her, you know, how good a cook she is. So 90% of the time, because she, like I said, she was there to self promote, she was not even answering the questions they were asking her. She was just going on tangent. W one other thing I wanted to say, I wouldn't be surprised that if she became a YouTuber and, you know, started making content, red pill uh, content, you know, content supporting the uh, passport bros and attacking women, especially black women. They said, mom, get your own channel. <laughs> well, and I think she would succeed. I think she would have a lot of the passport bros watching her channel. Uh, yes, she is a modern woman. She dresses like a modern woman. She talks like a modern woman. She lives uh, the life uh, style of a modern woman. But she is, you know, the kind of woman they want to date. She is light skinned. You know, she is the kind of uh, woman they like to, to date, right? And we have seen that these men only have standards for darker skinned women. I think uh, they would still watch Austin's mom's channel, even if she is, she dresses the way she dresses now and, you know, curses and talks the way she does, because they will find an excuse to, you know, to um, accept, you know, her behavior, to accept her the way she, she dresses and the way she talks. Anyways, yeah, so Austin's mom is just a colorist, materialistic self-promoter, um, I guess, just like her son. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye-bye. You know, um, after I finished editing my video, I, you know, something came up to my mind and I wanted to add this. Um, I have absolutely no problem with the way Aston's mom dresses. I dress conservatively. She doesn't, but I have no problem with that. And I am, um, you know, uh, very supportive of women dressing the way they want. I actually do not believe in dress codes. I do not believe, you know, as long as you are dressed appropriate for the weather, I absolutely have no, no problem with how you are dressed. When she, you know, she was on, on one of Aston's um, lives, you know, the, um, on another live, talking telling Aston that she was gonna put on bikini bikini and um thong well love you good night i love you too i gotta get up in the morning so i can throw on another thong bikini this summer i that is inappropriate uh, to tell your your child your uh, your son about the unintimate garment that you are going to put that is inappropriate but um as far as the way she dresses, I have absolutely no problem.